and we'll say hello to Lael in Colorado. Lael, welcome to HSN. Hello. Hi, Lael. Hi. Do you hi, have Chris. Hi, do you have green bags, Lael? Uh, yes, I do. Oh, well, tell everybody, have they saved you money? <laughs> they have saved me phenomenal oh. with food. Really? Um, I went out and bought all brand new fruit and vegetables when I purchased these bags a year ago. Yep. And I was amazed. Uh, tomatoes, they were up to three weeks later, I'd go in and they were fresh. So fresh looking. Oh. I lettuce. I was, it was phenomenal. I have it up to my refrigerator up to a month, and it still looks fresh. Uh, and I just can't, you guys can't imagine how well these bags really work. I know. <laughs> I say, I'm so glad you took time to tell everyone, Lael, because I tell you see it and, be, you know, to believe That's it, right. you're like, oh, my gosh, I cannot believe how, how well. I mean, my foods and my fruits and vegetables last so long. And the same thing, I used to like to buy strawberries in big bulk. You know, for my, and not only my animals, but for my kids and everything. And I got to tell you, I used to throw out half of them before I got Debbie's green bags. And I can actually get through all the strawberries before they rot. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I was skeptical when I bought these when I seen them a year ago. Okay. I was very skeptical. Okay. That's why I did what I did. I went out, bought all brand new fruits and vegetables. And, and they work. They work. Oh, Lael, thank, thank you for work. Well, thank you Thanks for calling. For calling and thank okay. You. Thank I you. I appreciate you telling everybody about that. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. We have oh, Ruth on the phone from Illinois. Ruth, welcome to HSN. Well, hi. Hi, hi Ruth. Ruth. Yes, Chris, I want to ask Debbie a question. Sure. sure. I have the green bags, but mm -hmm. I just now ordered the spray. Right. Oh, good. Now, can you spray the produce before you put them in the green bag? What I like to do personally is I go ahead and store all my produce in the bags without spraying. And then I, when I take things out and I want to eat them and use them, that's when I spray them. So that you're not adding moisture to the bags. Oh, I see. However, if you would like to spray them, what I would suggest you do, spray something, let it dry before you put it in the bag. Well, that's a good idea. And another question I have, can you put like apples and oranges in the same bag? No, you should not mix fruits and vegetables together. You know, keep the same thing in each bag. So like all apples in one and oranges in another. Apples are notoriously high in ethylene gas emission. So they will actually affect every other fruit or vegetable they come near. And it's not like you can watch an orange rot that quickly, mm -hmm. but it will, the apple will accelerate the rotting of that orange beyond belief. Well, I thank you very much for the information. Oh, well, I'm glad to give it to you, and I'm thrilled that you called, and well, I'm very happy to know you love your bags. And you both have a great night. Aww, thank you, Ruth. You I'm too, glad you Ruth. got them. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. So we're going to go right back to the phone, say hi to Judy in Michigan. Judy, welcome to HSN. Hey, how you doing? Hi, okay. Judy. Judy, are you getting green bags for the first time or you have or you've tried them? No, I ordered another set today, but okay. I've been using them a couple of years, I guess. Right. Oh, good. So have they been saving you money? Have they been making your fruits and vegetables last longer? Oh, yes. I'll tell you. Boy, money is sometimes pretty tight. You can't afford to just throw it in the trash. I know. Oh, and you know what? I don't care how much money you have. I would hate to throw any of those vegetables in the I know it. I really like tomatoes in it and bananas. Mm -hmm. I Absolutely. put grapes. I put apples, oranges, carrots, or just about most everything you've showed. Mm -hmm. Well, you, that, you know exactly how to use them because it's any fruit or vegetable. They work perfectly at absolutely everything. So I'm so happy to hear your results are the same as what I'm showing here. Yep, yep. I really do like them. All right. Well, thanks Great. for saying hi to us. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you, you bye -bye Judy. Now. I want to take a phone call. Oh, okay, Trish right. is calling us from M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. Oh, good. That's Mississippi wow. to you and me. Did you read that? <laughs> Trish, welcome to HSN. <laughs> You're live on HSN Cooks. How are you? Well, I'm just Ducky. How are you all? Uh, oh, ducky. Ducky, I love That's that. That's such a southern saying. We like to hear that this morning. Uh, tell us, are you a big fan of our green bags? Listen, this is my third order, and my husband, Bubba, a truck driver, is insisting that I call on this product. Now, why oh. is Bubba, the truck driver, telling you that you have to call HSM today? because he doesn't believe in anything except these green bags. Oh, oh that's great. Isn't he great. Well, what do you guys use Thanks, them so Bubba. much for, Trish? Well, we use them for everything, but mm -hmm. specifically, I mean, I have to tell you a couple of things. Okay. Number one, he 
on the road, he likes bananas. Oh. Now, bananas don't last a long time. We know that. Except in the green bags. And I can buy nine or ten bananas in a stalk and put them in the green bags. If I buy them with just a little bit of green on them, ten days later, they're perfect. And on top of that, I've bought celery that was limp and put it in the green bags, and it came back like it was resurrected. Oh, isn't that great? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just, there are very few things in this life that I would call in to give a testimony mm -hmm. of. And this is definitely one of them. As I said, it's his insistence. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, We are Trish. so glad you and Bubba, the truck driver from Thank Mississippi, you, love our green bags. Thank you for calling, Trish. <laughs> My pleasure. We appreciate you shopping Debbie. on HSN. Thank you so much. Let's talk to a couple more green bag girls, shall Me we? Too. Ruth Ann is calling us from California. Good morning, Ruth Ann. You're live on HSN. Good morning. Good Hello morning, to Ruth both Ann. of you. Hello to you, Ruth Ann. Are you a big fan of our green bags? Oh, most definitely. Um, well, I use them for my asparagus during asparagus season uh -huh. because you can get it so cheaply and it lasts forever. I've had it up to four weeks uh -huh. and it's been perfect. Oh, that's great. We have great. A, a rainbow lorry, which is a bird, and he eats fruits and vegetables. And in the wintertime, his favorite is, well, he likes grapes all the time. <laughs> and in the wintertime, it's really hard here in California. There's about a two to four-week period where we really can't get decent grapes. Uh -huh. When I know that's coming, the POTUS guy tells me, and we go ahead and we stock up. And I've had them last almost five weeks, and they're just as fresh when we cut them afterwards as to when he first buys them. Ruth Ann, i got to tell you something yeah. funny. Colleen Lopez is coming up next hour with... Uh, some great fashions on Spring Fashion Week. I don't know if you heard about the, the interviews that she had to do on national news magazines because she lost it on the air laughing mm -hmm. when a phone caller called in and talked about her dog yeah. loving HSN's jewelry. You're next on the list talking about your bird <laughs> loving green bags, Ruth Ann. Hey, he keeps his food fresh. What can I say? Because if you know, he doesn't oh have fresh gosh. food, he screams and rants and raves. You know, That's good for so humans, awesome. good for humans, pets as well. Ruth Ann, thanks for shopping Thank with you, HSN. Ruth we appreciate it. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Joan is calling from Tennessee. Joan, good afternoon. Thanks for shopping on HSN. Thank you for are having you, me. Are you a big fan of our green bags? Yes, they are marvelous. Like Pe she just said, the peppers, but I also uh, put fish in them. Do you really? Yes. I, you I, know you're I, the first person I I've heard talking heard about putting yes. fish in the green bags. Yes, I get my fish at the store, and then I wrap them individually first with some saran, saran wrap. Uh huh put them in these bags, and then stick them in the freezer and take one out at a time, and they're just as nice as when I bought them. Well, thank you for that. I yeah, never great heard idea, one. Joan. And you know what? Stay tuned, Joan, because I've actually got my cold cuts and cheese bags coming up next. I'm really excited about there that. There you go. Joan, thank and, you so much for calling this oh, morning. Oh, you're very welcome, Dean. All right, we thank appreciate you, you shopping with HSN. Oh, I've been with them a long, long time. Well, we're glad to have oh, you coming back all I'm the time. I'm delighted you called while I was on. We're going to run out to our phones and welcome in Juliana this Mother's Day, who's giving us a call from Georgia. Good morning, Good Julianne. Morning. Welcome. Good morning. Hi, Did Judy. you purchase these bags, or are you already a lover? Oh, gosh. I have purchased them, and I will bet my life on it. Now, what do you Thank love about you. them, Juliana? I mean, it's, it's, it's the so vegetable, amazing. The vegetable fruit lasts forever. I bought the uh, romaine lettuce on sale, and there was about six, uh, you know, big things and I ate three and then I put two in the refrigerator in the bag and then forgot all about six weeks after yesterday I saw it I pulled it out and I'm making salad today they're still good <gasps> you know I Juliana you. I would love to say I'm surprised I'm just delighted that you're getting the results that I have promised you I, I bought strawberries you know fast strawberry goes and you said nine days dear Mine lasted two weeks. Oh, <laughs> two can weeks you then. imagine? Are you kidding? Like, you went in your refrigerator, and six weeks later, your lettuce was mm -hmm. still fresh? Uh, no, it was just, like, fresh, like I just bought it. Are you, now, see, isn't that amazing? Now, normally, you would have to throw that out, Juliana. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, not even, and if it would last it in there that long without uh, a green bag, there'd be mold and all kinds uh, of experiments growing. Uh, uh, listen, the strawberries, after two weeks, sure, they were a little bit ripe, but they were eatable. That's right. I mean, I That's didn't right. have to throw them away. So I brought uh, uh, to my colleague at work one of the bags to try because she couldn't believe it. And I said, go ahead and try. Now she's going to buy it or she <laughs> bought them already because she did the same thing I did. And she, you know. And you also saved her a lot of money. 
Um, yes. <laughs> oh, Costa, Juliana, please, today, I'm so glad you called in because it's true. You saved yourself a lot of money. And also, too, a lot of times you think, okay, I don't have any lettuce left. I threw that out last week. Here you went back six weeks yeah. later, and that head of lettuce was just like you bought it. There were two heads there. The big one remained. They were still like the day I bought them. Oh, I'm so glad, Juliana, that you had such great success with that. Thank okay, you, Juliana. You have a Juliana. wonderful Mother's Day, and thank you for taking the time to be part You're of our welcome. show. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.